Eli lived in a small village at the foot of a large mountain range. The villagers lived in fear of the dragon that lived on top of the mountain. The dragon often descended to terrorize the village and demand tribute in the form of sheep, cows, and sometimes even children. The villagers had tried many times to slay the dragon, but all attempts had been in vain. One day, as the dragon descended upon the village once again, Eli decided that he would be the one to slay the dragon and put an end to its tyranny. He went to the village elder and told him of his plan. The elder was skeptical at first, but eventually gave his blessing and wished Eli good luck. Eli began his journey up the mountain. As he climbed, he learned that the dragon was not just a mindless beast, but was actually quite intelligent. He also learned that the dragon had a deep sadness in its heart, for it was the last of its kind and had no one to share its life with. When Eli finally reached the dragon's lair, he found the dragon lying down, seemingly asleep. He approached the dragon cautiously, but instead of attacking him, the dragon opened its eyes and spoke to him. The dragon told Eli of its loneliness and despair, and how it had turned to terrorizing the village out of desperation for company. Eli felt sorry for the dragon, and instead of slaying it, he offered to be its friend. The dragon was taken aback, but eventually, it agreed. Over time, Eli and the dragon grew close, and the dragon no longer descended upon the village to demand tribute. Instead, it helped the villagers by providing them with water from the mountain streams, and even helping to protect them from other dangers. The villagers were amazed at the change in the dragon, and asked Eli how he had managed to tame the beast. Eli simply told them that he had shown the dragon kindness and friendship, and that sometimes a little love and understanding can go a long way. And so, Eli and the dragon lived happily ever after, and the villagers lived in peace, knowing that they no longer had to live in fear of the dragon on the mountain. The moral of the story is that even the most fearsome of creatures can be tamed with love and understanding. And so, Eli and the dragon's story will be remembered as a tale of friends.